what's up guys and welcome to today's video so guys uh, this channel is a channel whereby we normally do weekly analysis and they show you what to expect for the week and how you are going to be analyzing the market uh, and the direction you are going to be trading for the week so if you are new to this channel i will advise you, you know to click the subscribe button and follow us you understand? so that you can check out our videos we did we normally do analysis every weekend all right i know i'm doing this video late uh if you check now it's around after nine around 9 p.m or so so if i'm not mistaken when i'm recording i'm not even upload so guys uh it's just that i don't want to disappoint you guys because i told you that i'm going to be trying my best to make sure i keep to uh, keep to our weekly analysis so because of other things i need to attend to that's why i'm not uploading but i have to make sure so that i will upload the video that's why i'm doing the video in the night all right so if you check the background, maybe you're not seeing my face very well, you know, it's in the light and I don't want to on maybe what kind of serious light to affect me. You understand? So let's get started. All right. So if you take a look at this, we are going to be starting with a, a USD, a USD. All right. We're going to talk about three pairs. So make sure you pay attention so that, you know, you follow up. If you don't understand what you are saying here, this is more like a kind of, our top down analysis yes this is you see you see these key levels i draw here this is what we do once you draw it leave it i've drawn this thing for a long time now so once we finish drawing this you leave it so that you see how market react to it so what do we do what we do is that you normally come and take a look at the direction of the market the first thing you do whenever you're analyzing the market is to identify the direction so a couple of weeks ago, we have already established that overall, the market is in a downtrend. Even though we experienced a deep pullback, more like a change in direction. But as you can see, the market rejects from this zone. If you look at this, you see we experience a, a downtrend, the market pullback. In fact, change direction. But right now, if you look at this chart, you should be able to say that market is a kind of downtrend. All right? Kind of downtrend. To some extent, if you are looking in a higher time frame, like if you come to monthly time frame, you can start from monthly. If you take a look at it in monthly time frame, we normally start in a higher time. We see that market is giving you lower low. This is a low that it created, then pull back. Even though on this pull back, it looks like it is going on. So, may looking at this, let me zoom in so that you'll be able to see what I'm saying. So, may looking at this, you know that we expect this market to come and create a new low because of what it is a downtrend. All right. So, but right now, market is at the critical level, which is the determining factor. If you check here, you see markets, you see, you see the, this zone. What you see here is zone by zone. If you don't know how to draw it, you can check our video here where I just pull out some of the people call it support and resistance. All right. So, but you draw it in higher time. But if you look here, you see that this is a key zone that the market is now. So, if we break below here, the next point we are going to is down here. But if the market rejects, you see, maybe we see a kind of bullish and golfing candle around this zone, then there is tendency for this market to keep heading high. That is what on a week on a monthly time frame, which is where we're able to identify that this market is in direction. But when you want to draw your key level, you don't draw it in book monthly time frame, you come to weekly time frame to be able to map out your key zones. I'm going to be showing this thing from higher time frame until the point of enter. So you need to pay attention so that you'll be able to understand what I'm saying. All right. So pay attention. Then if you come to weekly, this is where you draw your key level. You see these zones that I map out here after mapping it out here. Then I want you to come there. Then we are going to come down to look at this region where the market is. Because the more you go to higher, uh, lower time frame, that is the more this place keeps shifting. Or you go to higher time frame, it will shrink for you to see the bigger picture. So looking at this now, last week, last week, if you check the, the video we upload last week, you can go and check it as well. We discovered that we were looking at the market around this region, where we see this engulfing candle. So then we expect that this market might continue going up. As you can see, see the candle. So if I go to lower time frame, I will show you something. You see what's happened. So, so far, it still looks uh, kind of uh, the trend is not going to break, you know, that kind of thing. Because for now, looking at this place, this pattern that formed here, which is a bullish pattern, engulfing candle, are you getting it? Showing that there is high probability for this market to go up, still stand. 
Then if you come to what? To daily time frame, I want you to pay very, very good attention so that you understand what we are doing. If you come to daily time frame, I want you to pay attention. Here in daily time frame, what are you seeing? Remember, in a higher time frame, we establish the fact that the market is in a downtrend. Are you getting it? So when market is in a downtrend, what are we looking for? We are looking for opportunity to join the trend, which is to sell. Okay. So if you look at this place now, because the more you go to lower time frame, the more you see a trend within the trend. Are you getting it? You see, this is more like a, a, a trend. A market does not move in a straight line. So when market trend for some time, like from here to here, you notice that the market start consolidating. But this consolidation that you are seeing here is also a pattern that you are going to pay attention to. So looking at this now, if you are looking at it in a higher time frame, look at what you are expecting. That there is either this market break below here. If you break below here, this market break below here, then the direction we expect is that this market we expect to look for selling opportunity all the way down here. But if you keep heading higher, then we look to buy all the way up. If this place hold, but how do you what do we do from here? If you if you are looking at it from daily time frame, this is a consolidation, and when market is consolidating, you are advised not to trade. Are you getting it? Then, but let's go further and take a look at it at what at a uh, four hours time frame. So, if you come to four hours time frame, what are you seeing? You're going to see something like this. You see this chart. When you take a look at chart, what is the sign of trend reversal? I want to I want you to pay attention. If you take a look at this, what is the sign of trend reversal? Last week, I told you guys that this is what. If you watch my video last week. I told you that this is head and shoulder pattern. Last week, the market was around here. Look at where the market is. Then I told you guys to wait. Look at what I told you last week. I told you to wait for market to break above here. The market was here. I told you to wait on Monday, Tuesday, within the week. If market break above here, then give up retest. We are going to enter. If you retest and give us a buying pattern, but pay attention to this so that because it's not because I, you see or you just see a setup or you're expecting a bullish sign or you, you're expecting to buy you do not wait for your entry trigger watch what happened when market give us if you see this strong candle this is a breakout i told you guys last week once market breakout wait for a retest then the bounce up to start going up that is when you enter but if you come here and put pending order you discover that the market will hit you out all right that is why i show you that there is entry setup once you identify the direction of the market, you still wait for the market to reach that level. When market reach that level, it's not enough. You have to wait for your entry trigger. So as you can see, when market reach this level, the first one we wait for market to break out. Then we wait for it to retress to our area of value. Then the third one is for entry trigger to form. In this case, entry trigger did not form because you see there is a strong move. What will make us to enter here? Let's say you see a kind of consolidation, small, small candle coming down here. Then already here you see a bullish engulfing candle, a four hour bullish engulfing candle here. That is a sign of buying before you buy. But in this case, you notice that the market was having a strong bearish candle. We made it to this market closes. So we did not, me personally, did not enter this trade. As I told you guys to wait for the market to come here, then before we buy. Why I didn't buy is because. The market did not give us the buying setup when it reached here. This is what they call false breakout because this is a head and shoulder pattern that form here. After the head and shoulder seat, you see it. This is shoulder, head, shoulder. Are you getting it? The market come here, break out of a false head and shoulder that form here and start heading up. So looking at this now, what are you expecting? I want you to pay attention because you remember we started it from higher time frame and in higher time frame where market is bearish because it's bearish we are looking for a sales setup are you getting it then but if you come to here now this pattern you see here is giving us a bullish pattern which is if you, which means that it might be a trend reversal because this is a, 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 a higher time frame zone you see this black something that you see here ash ash actually so watch this if you draw your this thing you draw your trend line you may connect this like this are you getting it or like this if you connect it like this this is more like a false kind of third touch because as you see market don't really push up but if you connect it like this it looks like maybe it's a second touch all right 
then you can also connect the top one around here. So looking at this now, you will see that this is more like a kind of continuation of trend because you notice market, this is the last high. Then the market reach here, come and create a new high, pull back again, come back and create a new high. This is a pattern of reversal pattern. Meaning like, meaning like even though this market has been trending down, or there's probability for it to keep heading higher. So what should you do in this kind of case? No, if you have to sell, if you have to sell, let's say sometimes when you look at higher time frame, you know there is time where you should get out of the market. All right, because no matter what, anytime you're looking for sale, there will always be a selling setup. If you must trade, if you're not the type that wait for a, your, a, the best setup, like now, if I want to, if I'm looking for a certain opportunity now, you see, I'll be expecting this market to pull to this level. Why? Because here is a FIB level. Notice that here is a FIB level. The market pull to this zone. Then I will look to shut this market around here because I'm in a higher time frame looking to sell. But that is not a good, you know, setup because if you notice, market is creating new highs from this zone. Even though this is a false breakout, so there is high probability for you to reach here, maybe the market will break down. So in this kind of case, our advice, if you take a look at for, uh, daily time frame, the best thing for you to do, remember, you, 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 you may decide to go to five minutes time frame and start trading, but imagine say you are going to five minute time frame when the market is in a strong trend. You see, no matter your strategy, you'll be making money if you know what you are doing, all right? So, I don't know, my network is kind of delaying. Okay, so if you take a look at this, my advice will be wait for this market. One thing, either this market break below here, then if you are selling, you see that at least preserve your capital because if you try to capture small, small move within here, and then before you know it, maybe you will keep losing loss, market hit your stop loss, hit your stop loss. Then when market break below here, if the market is breaking down, you see that this is a free fall. There's nothing stopping it. Which is creating you know a very good setup that you are looking for by that time your account is blown but if you keep looking for setup here or let's say markets if market is not going down let's say it's going up if it break above here then this is it is obvious that it is now in a market a reversal it's more like a reversal but as you can see here you see market give us a false breakout within this zone i don't know if you are seeing what i'm showing you here Market give us a false break. I see this very scandal. So there is probability for this market. What am I expecting next week? What I'm expecting in this pair is because we are in a downtrend and this is more like a consolidation. This trend reversal around here may not hold, which means that it might just keep heading higher. I don't know. Shit. Okay. So what am I expecting? Look at what I'm expecting. There's tendency. I believe that this market might pull to this level. If you break this level, then it has the probability of coming to create new high. If not, it might reach to this level where, where it, will, it will come here. Then when you see a golfing candle, which is start to come down to break this level, or the consolidation must still take time before it break. You know, after a trend, we go into consolidation. So that is it, what I'm expecting from this one. If you really, if you are the type desperate to say, one or two things can happen because in a higher time frame, you see that this market is heading up, which means after this thought, even if you draw this to here, if you are forcing trade, you already see set up to buy. You see? So another see for now, I will say that if you are selling, you might be looking at here. But let me show you something. When you analyze and you see that overall, this market you might be looking maybe to sell because in a downtrend. But what are probability that this market is in an unlocked trend? Remember, we have established the fact that it's going down. I want you to get that clear. Maybe this is just a consolidation. But within here, we have to also say, okay, since it's going down, we are looking for selling opportunity. Well, since that selling opportunity is going, what is the probability that this market is going up? Because when you analyze the direction, find reasons why that trade may not go down. Because if you look, watch here now, you see that this is more like the market is consolidating around here. There is, you see this very scandal, so it's going to break down and keep heading down. Okay, right now, let's find reasons why this market may not go down. 
Are you getting it? Because by the time you establish the two, that will help what will help you to really know the direction to follow. Okay. So watch this. If you come to daily time frame now and you draw your trend line. You see this trend line now, what is it showing you? It's showing you a clean break and retest pattern. Are you seeing it? You see that you see first touch, you see second touch. On the third touch, you pull back, then break out and retest. Let me pull it up. You see it? This is break and retest. And continuation so if you, if you are looking at it from this point this is more like a buying setup all right this is more like a buying setup so looking at this now you you have to understand that right now there is hype it's more like 50 50. even though market might push up but i believe that it might not keep heading up it might just push up a bit then start falling are you getting it? But if you see the the, the kind of asari, analyze it now, looking for buying opportunity, you see that we are seeing a clear. This is more like break and retest, then trend continuation. I see the candle is going up. Are you getting it? So in this scenario, if you ask me, I will say, it. don't allow this market to clear this whole confusion around here. All right. See what what our advice. Around this market to clear here. Around this market to clear this point. You cannot, nothing will happen to you if you do not trade on T. This market is clear out of this place. Either you break below here or clear start heading up. Are you getting it? Here you see, you see that the market will still give you a lot of opportunity to, to buy from here all the way up. Or if you break down, you see that this is more like a free fall. So when market is a kind of confused or when you are doing your analysis, it's 50-50, there's 50% is going to go up, there's 50% is going to go down. Leave it alone. That is the key takeaway for this. So in this case where we have low USD, will you, for my own analysis this week, I will say for you to wait for this market to clear this zone before you start buying even though here is giving us a sign of bullish but overall trend you see that this market is still in an in a downtrend okay so this market even though it's at the support but on the normal this market is supposed to start heading up let me show you one reason why i don't want to start buying because of here the reason is because we have a kind of this breakout here is enough to keep this thing keep going up but the breakout did not allowed it later form a false break you see this breakout here this strong candle supposed to keep it going instead of reversing like this i get it so if this is not enough to keep it going then there is a problem i get it so i said of that allow it to clear here before you start looking for your entry setup okay so that's it for this pair let's move on to what to another pair which is what uh, aud usd aud usd you know we have been on this pair for some time now there's no need to talk too much so i'm going to go let's just take a look at weekly time frame take a look at weekly time frame you see we have our drawing like this okay take a look at this you see this market from here the market have been heading down so, so if you take a look at this now you see how the market have been moving remember overall we want this market it remains small for this market to actually reach here but you see the way the market is yet around here remember you see watch here we have been looking for opportunity for this market for we to shut this market all the way down here actually i have sell this trade for some time ago and take some profit before uh so right now what are we looking for you see when you come to uh daily time frame watch this you see that it remains small for this market to to reach this zone are you getting it it keep moving small small until you reach this zone remember our overall is for this market to come down to this place okay so that is on what on daily time frame you see this market let's say if it's going up it's going to pop down have you seen it keep rejecting so what are we expecting for you know us uh, aud usd next week if you come to four hours if you come to four hours you will see this let me tell you something last week last week this market 
this market come down to this place. You see, it give us a breakout. Then come back and give us a false break. Are you getting it? This is more like a false breakout. You see, it, it's a false breakout around here. And the, the other period where the same thing happened, you notice market consolidated around here. The next thing, this candle come and break and come back up again. So in this one, you see it, the same thing happened here. Give us a false break. Then come back and close above here, start heading up. So what do I do in this case? Let me show you something. If you see here, last week, I actually shot this trade. It's still on. It's still on, actually. Okay, the trend line did not connect to it. So let me just show you what I did last week. What I did is that I come to four hours and I noticed something. I noticed that here, watch. Here is a key. You see here, you notice market come here, reject, market come here, reject, even around here. Are you getting it? The market come back to this level again. And not just that, that place is what we call a FIB level. If you watch this, you see that this market, if you draw your Fibonacci from here all the way down to this zone, you see that this is a FIB level. Sorry, guys. So this is a FIB level. So when market break above, would you like if you want to break out, then give us this, uh, this candle, this bearish candle here, engulfing candle around this bay. That is when I shot this market here last, let's say last, last on Friday. On Friday, I shot the market around. How did I shot it? I come to what to one hour time. You know how we normally trade. So I come to one hour time frame and draw a trend line. I connect it from here. So I connect it from here. Maybe you can see clearly in 30 minutes time frame. Okay. So I connect it from here all the way down. So, so at this market break here, that is when I shot the market from this way up here. I shot it from here. As you can see why stop loss is above this region. Okay. So targeting to move all the way from here down. All right. So which I believe by this time, this time around is going to break here. I believe so. Let's just see how it plays out. So it's going to break out and probably we might just capture in this move we have been waiting for whereby the market is going to move all the way down to this way. So if you have not entered this trade, one or two things is what you can do. Maybe it's still, it's still okay, but, but if you just see, let me let me clear this. So for Euro US, AUD USD, sorry guys, AUD USD, what I suggest if you have not entered the trade is two things. Either you wait for this market to break below here. See this line, the market clear here, or you wait. Maybe if you just say something like pull back to this zone by Monday or from the rest of Tuesday within the week, you see a pullback to this level, then you can short the market all the way down here. All right. Remember to take some profit around this zone because market reject here while you hold the remaining one. So as you can see, AUD USD is very clear case. Okay. So there's no complication here or anything you don't understand. You can leave it in the comment section. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying here. So you see it, market reach, you take some profit and you can also hold some down here. All right. Then the last one here um, is a, a GBP USD. GBP USD. So in GBP USD, remember last week I told you guys that I'm not going to be trading GBP USD. What's my reason? My reason is that the, the based on the nature of the market, they just come to weekly time frame. In weekly time frame, you can see. Let me clear this. So in weekly time frame, you see what's happened. The same thing. Let me just zoom in. So you see these zones that we normally draw. This is more like a black line. This represents you know kind of the rejection where we can experience, even though markets move from zone to zone. But there are still minor support and resistance that occur within the trend. All right. So we use that to mark those zones. Okay. When you come to daily time frame, you will see that here the market 
is in a downtrend. If I start from weekly, this is a downtrend because, or let's just say the market is within this boss, but overall you see that uptrend is the kind of, it give us a false break and start heading up, but here is pulling down. You understand? And if you draw, you see that it's more like you're heading down. Okay. So right now, if you come to daily time frame, you see that just like I said, when I was analyzing USD JPY, sorry, uh, AUD, Euro AUD, Euro USD, sorry guys, Euro USD, when I was analyzing USD, I said after a trend, market will consolidate. So right now, the market is at consolidating around here. Where is our overall direction? We expect the market to move all the way down to this zone. All right. But even though it's moving down to this zone, so what should you do by next week? Should you enter or should you leave it? Look at my honest opinion. My honest opinion is when you come to four hours time frame, when you come to four hours, you see what is happening. Just pick this boss. If you pick this boss and draw it from here, so allow this market to clear this thing. Allow this market to clear here. Why? If you clear here, now you see that there's a free fall. So the only thing that is left for you is, to, if you look here now, if you look here, you see that when when you when the market clear this zone, when market clear this zone now, if you clear here, let's say you see a breakout below here, pull back, pull back a bit, then you short the market. Why? Use this one as your take profit. First take profit. You see it. So. Right now, the houses are market. Remember, market in daily time frames. It's a market. If you come to four hours, then it will be easy. Are you getting it? So, what are you looking next week to trade this pair? Look at what I'm looking at. Two things. Either this market break below here. If you break above here, then we are in a trend reversal, which means the market is now going up. All right. But if this market break this zone, we see a four hours strong bearish candle. If you start looking for a pullback, when you see a pullback here, then we'll sell. If you sell, then you hold until here. Market reach and take your first take profit. Why the final take profit will be below here? So, guys, that's what I have for you guys for this week's analysis. Remember, tomorrow we are coming up with US 30 and the NASDAQ. So, wait for it. There is a huge profit, which is what you made in last week, that I'm going to be taking a look at a very good setup that we took last week. If you follow my analysis last week, which is also a very good one. So make sure if you find value in this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like the video. If there is any question, please be it in the comment section, guys. So peace out.